video so today i made a smart activity tracker and um, actually uh, it is uh, collecting data by using explorer and sending them to a mobile devices then the mobile device calculates the calories and steps by using the data the feature is very simple and that means uh, the structure of this device is no simpler than or to watch so it's very easy to make your own this so please watch this full video and uh, please like and subscribe my channel so let's begin how to make this project i'm using three main components the first component which i'm using is arduino nano and uh, it's a most common device uh, and uh, it has a 22 inputs and output pins in total 14 of these pins are digital pins and uh, arduino nano has eight analog pins and uh, it comes up with a crystal oscillator of 60 megahertz and its operating voltage varies from 5 volt to 12 volts and SDA SCL pins are analog pin A4 and A5 and it also comes with a mini USB pin which is used to upload the code and uh, just to simply insert it and uh, connect it with, the, with your PC, USB or with OOTG through which you can upload your code and uh, here is the most popular device which is a uh, hc05 bluetooth module and you can also use a uh, hc06 main module and uh, its uh, operating voltage is 3.3 volt to 5 volts and uh, in this project i'm using only four pins rx tx ground and 5 volts and uh, it's uh, more convenient and uh, it is basically used for connecting with your android devices and uh, here is the uh, accelerometer uh, which is uh, uh, I actually I'm using the MPU6050 which is the perfect combination of accelerometer and gyroscope sensor module if you have other accelero sensor you can replace it with yours in the case of some source code must be modified and uh, in this project I'm using only four pins first is VCC ground SCL, SDA to send your data and the rest of uh, uh, pins are not required in this project and uh, I'm using a mail to mail jumper wires for connections and to avoid soldering I'm using breadboard so let's start Now the connection is completed, now it's time to upload the code. But always remember, before you upload the code, you must remove the RX and TX pin of HC05 before uploading the code. Now connect the USB with your PC to upload the code. So here is the code and um, uh, you must uh, remember that uh, before uploading the code, you must uh, add the libraries of uh, y.h and the mac.h and you can download it from the github it's completing now it's uploading has been done just remove it 
now reinsert the rx and px pin of hc05 after you upload the code now for a power source i'm using a power bank you can also use a lithium polymer battery so just connect it Now the system is ready. Connecting to the power source. Now go to the RetroBand app and connect your device. After connecting the device, when your device gets connected, as you can see, the two parameters, first calorie and the another one watts. So movement of device in any direction causes increase in these two parameters. See. Now for more details of movement and vibration of devices, now go to the graph. As you can see, there are three lines, RGB, red one donates x-axis, green one donates y-axis and the blue one donates x-axis. Any movement of device in any axis causes the graph not the graph accordingly and it has many applications uh, like uh, in smart watches or smart activity tracker so guys if you like my video and my idea please like it